Hello, welcome back to another Home Education during the UK video. Unfortunately, last week we were really poorly um, tested negative for COVID, but have tested again um, at the weekend and we're all five was a positive. Um, if you want to know more about all of the symptoms, then you can go over to our Mucky Hands and Happy Hearts. All the information on all of our symptoms and what we had to do is all over there. We're also doing a Vlogmas every day through December of what we're getting up to Christmassy. There'll be a lot of the crafts, activities, all that sort of thing. That's also going to be over on Mucky Hands and Happy Hearts. Um, it's the afternoon, the kids just upstairs having a chill. But we've got this lovely unit that I filled yesterday. This is going to be where all of our home ed and resources and stuff are kept and also a crafting area and it's got drawers in the bottom half so that's going to be where the kids individual books and stuff go that's both sides still needs filling and then here is going to be where we're going to keep this bit here empty and this bit so that they can do crafts and stuff on here, jigsaws or whatever, and then um, display all their little makes there. And it means if they're halfway through it, you can literally shut the door like that and they can crack on with it later. So, cool. There you go. So yeah, absolutely love this, so much space. So at the minute it's got all of the Christmas bits in and then after Christmas, I've got all the stuff in storage to get back out all the original home ed stuff and that'll all be organized into boxes as well as the island here. These two are gonna be full of books and stuff. They're really deep, put my hand in, you can see there really deep so those two there we're going to also have homemade stuff in so that should be plenty of storage space anyway we've got our trusty trolley which i desperately need to go through that's been in the front room piled full of stuff obviously we're not having anywhere to put anything and the kids have been grabbing stuff that desperately needs to sort through um as well yeah so i thought what i'd do whilst all of the christmas things are in here it's an ideal time to show you what resources we've got so i'm going to go through and do that quickly now um the first thing I want to show you is KiwiCo have got an advent calendar. It's amazing. Highly recommend it for next year. I know you won't get it in time now because it does come from America. But it came in a box and you get 24 envelopes uh, eat, open each day. She's not done it today, um, but she made this one yesterday. It's a little, got open. And it's open roof and the door's open. Um, and when she's finished, it'll make a lovely scene on there to display. So that is a super one. I love it so much. So Numerise, which is where you can do secondary um, ageing maths um, all online. We've mentioned it before. I'll leave a link here so you can go and check out Ted using it. He uses it all the time. But we're working with them at the minute over the, um, the foreseeable future because it's something that we really believe in and it's so amazing. And at the minute, they're offering only for two weeks only from today for our viewers, a flash sale where you guys can go on and get 50% off for a 12 month subscription, which is amazing. I only recommend things that I believe in and have agreed to work with Numerize because they are so amazing because they're lovely and also it really works. Each question, if the children don't know what the what the um, new strategy is there or technique they're learning, there's a video which explains it which is brilliant because when they get secondary school age, some of the maths can be confusing, can't it? <laughs> and to actually have that video there, and you can listen yourself, be like, oh, that's how you do that method. So it's really, really good. Anyway, it goes from year seven right up to GCSEs, and it follows the curriculum as well. So 50% off a flash sale for our um, followers. It only it starts today, and it is only on for two weeks, so definitely worth going and acting on it if you're thinking of getting that sooner rather than later. Home Ed 50 is the code. We'll link it there as always. And I'll also link the um, website for you to go and check them out. They're on um, Instagram as well. Yeah. I can't remember where I got all these resources from now that I'm going to show you, but it's either going to be Poundland, should I say, Wilco's, or the works. So this, which is awesome. Countdown to Christmas, 24 activities. So she did that one with Lee yesterday. Um, I say she, Alfie will do it with her as well, but obviously Ted won't because he doesn't like the feel of paper. So there's, um, each day there's a different activity. This will be her one today, which is, it's a word search. Loads of different things you can do. Love stuff like this. I love doing something every day and getting really, really in the mood for Christmas. I'm gonna leave that one open because that's the one she was doing. Um, got this super cute wipeable tablecloth from 
Asda, six pound or five pound, I think it was. And I thought it's super cute just to put there, just to protect it, because the sharpies go through paper, don't they? And then I've got this, which I bought this last year from the works, three pound fifty. There's only twelve, so she hasn't started this yet, but it makes all of those, and they're so cute. This one is, yeah, I definitely recommend going and have a look in the works because it doesn't start until 12 days before, so you definitely got time to get that. And then we've got some Christmas stickers, like the foam ones. These were from, I'm sure these are from the pound shop. And a big clear tub of those. What else have we got going on here? So much stuff. I've got some Christmas books here. I'll quickly show you these. Ooh, if I can get them. This is our little trip to Lapland, just a little book there. They're getting letters off the elves, and then our books, Christmas books that I've dug out at the minute are the elf pets for Elf on the Shelf. Our elves are our friends, and they hide in funny places and leave the kids so many treats. They left them a big treat yesterday, a North Pole breakfast. Show you a couple of photos here of that. But they're here. They're hiding in Millie's ham this morning. So cute. We love waking up and seeing where they are every day. We've done it for seven or eight years now, and it's uh, yeah one of our favourite Christmas tradition traditions. Like that one as well. I've got all the elf pets and the dog, and then we've got our elf on the shelf Christmas tradition book that we like to sit and read all over December. It's got um, I think in here yeah look 2014. So seven years we've been doing it, and then this is the book we got. This um, this came. Um, it's from the Lapland UK and it's the Husky story. It's actually got the Huskies that the kids were given to off Santa is in this book as well. And then we got the Lapland stories. These books are so beautiful. It's ones that we're going to be getting out every year. They got a certificate yesterday to say the elves were going to write to them every day. And the book, oh, I don't know what it is about this book. It just feels really traditional and oh, I love books love books i think it reminds me of ones that i had when i was a child so we've got that lap, that lapland one and then the other lapland one we've got is this one and it's got the same sort of lovely pictures in so i'm looking forward to reading those a lot with the kids we also got the lap the um normally advent calendar wise i wrap up books for the kids and they open one each day this year I've got this one from the works, I think £10. And for you, those of you that haven't seen this, I mean they're everywhere this year, I've seen lots of them, but I want to show you anyway. Giant, and then it's got a, every day it has a new one. And the books are actually really cute, and they've got lots of writing in, and pictures. And they get to open one every day and then pop it back in so they're all kept together. I read that one last night. I haven't read this one yet today, but they've opened it. So that one's a little mermaid. So cute. And then the other advent calendars they got is at Ted got a Fortnite one. Alfie got a Harry Potter one. They've got a Build-A-Bear one to share. And I'll show you quickly where it is. Oh, put that back. Here. In six bears, I think you get in the Builder Bear one, and they get little accessories. And then the other one that I've got is I always fill a chocolate one every year, and it's the same one that comes out. That's that one. We do the same one every year. They've got little chocolate ones off Granny, which they always get every year. And Millie got the Lego Friends one, which is in here because she loves the Lego. Yesterday she got a little girl, and today she got the snowman. So they know how lucky they are. They definitely haven't gone short of advent calendars this year. Anyway, I'm gonna quickly carry on showing you the other little crafty bits we've got, Christmas craft bits we've got. Yeah, so this is the other pile here. So we've got some Christmas jigsaw puzzles to do, some Lapland ones again. And then I'm gonna show you that in a minute because that's not Christmas related, but I do wanna show you that. And then also two can box. Of, I've paused the subscription, but I re I unpaused it to get to um, Christmas crafts as well. Really, really cute. You can actually go on um, two can box. I don't think you're too late, and you can select which crafts you want in each box. So it was, I was really excited that I could select two Christmassy ones. So I'm going to show you those as well. It's, that's not a Christmas one. That's just a normal one. But there's always lots of very cute little activities and things to do in there. These two are Christmassy ones because I chose Christmassy ones. So we've got a frosty um, forest ice skating lake, which looks so cute. And as always, you get all the bits in that bag. And then the other one we've got to do is um, Santa's doodle parachute sleigh, 
which looks really, really cool. So these are all the things we've got to do in December. Um, and then we got from Baker Ross, I got the two more of these boxes with all the crafts already in it. They're like eight pound each, I think they are. I've got the winter one and then I've got the Christmas one. In the Baker Ross winter box, you get Snowman mix and match, max, ugh, mix and match decoration kit. They look very cute. Six of those to make. And then some really sweet little sequin snowflakes. They'll look cute on the playroom window. Some penguin stickers. And then you also get do get in this one a winter activity book to do with lots of different craft ideas. So we'll be working through those and doing all of those as well. I think the age range for, ba um, for the toucan box or baker... Uh, sorry for two good boxes up to age eight but Millie still really really enjoys doing them we'll still be getting them for a while longer and then the Christmassy one we've got Christmas mosaic decoration kits which Millie's gonna love I actually brought some of those from the pound shop and she made one the other day <coughs> there it's really cute I said to her that all of this side and all of this side she can just stick on all of the, all her creations on there and then because this one opens right back up like that so we stick them all on there so she's got plenty of um, space so you've got that one from the Christmas one some Christmas stickers two Christmas reefs and then a Christmas activity book which is a different to the winter one but still got so many lovely things oh I get so excited about all this stuff we've got to do oh I'm going to show you the calendar actually that I got from the works colour in your own calendar for 2022 so each day you get a different one to colour in how cool each month sorry how cool is that so you can take the month to colour it in and then display it so that's a really nice activity that I'm looking forward to doing with the kids um, I'm just trying to see if I've kind of pushed it so let's have a look in this box what we've got so many things to show you guys there's so many different act activities and resources and stuff i know because it's been a while and then i have so much to tell you all oh actually just want to mention as well actually the children are doing making christmas cards started um before we got poorly and then we've stopped because obviously we don't want to pass any germs on we won't be doing any more until we're feeling better and that we've all tested negative and stuff but they are making christmas cards that they want to post out to other home ed kids and also receive some in return as well so if any of you guys are interested in doing that the kids would be so happy um we've got a contact us page if you want to email us and let us know your address and your children's names and ages so that the kids can make one but also our PO box is always in the comments down below I'll ping it up here as well but um, you can send Christmas cards to the kids in return to that address as always so I just wanted to mention that while I was thinking about it like I said they won't be making any this week it'll be once they test negative still plenty of time it's only the 2nd of December right in this tray quite a few little cute bits these are all from the pound shop or wilco's i think they were from the pound shop so i've got this foil art which looks really really cute another mosaic looking one but i think this one's with pom-poms and then a coloring in one that's nice and easy isn't it these will look lovely on the inside of that wardrobe or cupboard Another mosaic one. They had loads and loads in the pound shop. And then a tablecloth colouring in one, which I'm going to put out to do, because we love doing that. That was a couple of pounds. I'm sure it was from the pound shop, but some of these, that was a couple of pounds. They have a section, don't they, where not everything is actually a pound, even though it's a pound shop. And then in the other basket, we've got this Lapland activity, which has got all of that inside. Looking forward to doing that one. Those are little bits in there. It's not been opened yet. We've got a Stickman activity book, which I think was from Aldi or Lidl, that one was. This was from the works. And it's got Christmas set, it's got some stickers, and then it's got, again, loads of different act colouring activities and scratch, scratch art and things to do. That was only a couple of pounds. We got an elf on the shelf these are naughty elves though so they're not like our elves but it's still these are elves behaving badly ours aren't bad bad elves ours are good elves but it's still all colouring in to do so another and some different puzzles and things in there plenty to keep us billy over december you're right darling Hello. i'm just showing everyone all of our home ed 
Christmas activities that you've got to do. Millie has come down. I with, heard the word scratcher. He did. So all of the stuff out, all of the um, Christmas resources, and you're like, oh, scratch art. So you're doing one, aren't you, darling? The noise. Oh, it's all shiny. What is this bit there? It's shiny underneath that one. Uh, I hate the noise. <laughs> to get you, maybe get your ear defenders or your headphones, listen to some music because you like the, the sensation of peeling it up, but not the noise it makes sometimes. <laughs> right, so the other couple of resources, Christmassy ones, is this, this, which we picked up actually from the service station when we were going um, to Centre Parts a couple of weeks ago. But you can get them on Amazon, so I'll link them down below. But it's a t shirt. That you can cuddle it, colour in, and they have so many different designs. But once you've coloured it in and wore it, you put it in the washing machine, and what happens, Mills? Yeah, what happens? All the colour, like, washes off, and yeah. then you can redo it. It all washes off, and then you can redo it again. So that's amazing. The other thing is um, Curious Little Monkeys curriculum on Instagram, which I've mentioned before, as we've bought packs from them before. They have a Christmas one that I got last year, but they also have a Minecraft Christmas version. And what I love about this is print it off for Millie and Alfie, but then Ted has got it on his iPad to do on Notability. So many different activities to do each day with the kids. I mean, seriously, like all this stuff we've got, you can just put it out on the table and they just crack on and have so much fun, can't you? Getting crafty and doing all these activities. So yeah, lots of different, even like, oh, someone's at the door, but we can't answer it. Hopefully they've read the message. I'll go in a minute, darling, so we can't answer it. Yeah, I'll open. I've got a note on the door that says we're in lock that um, in self isolation, so please leave anything at the door. So I'll go and check that in a minute when they've safely gone. Although they won't be very popular, we're like opening the door whilst they're still there. Um, anyway, yeah, they've got even like story writing. It's not all just crafts. It's a good mixture of maths, creativity, English, all in one. So you can either I think buy the version where they post it, or you can just get the one where you get the PDF and you literally get it emailed to you straight away as long as you've got the paper and the ink and then you just print it off and it's right there which is something that I always love because we do the ink thing where and we pay monthly um, I'll put in that here in case you're interested pay monthly for the ink and then they just automatically send a new one out when you've um, used it all up right the other thing we got which we've done a, um, a video on Jake's already I know but I didn't show this I forgot we bought this ourselves for Millie. And um, which one's mine? And it's a calendar which you haven't done today, um, this one. Okay. It's a calendar that she hasn't done today yet. This was yesterday. And you get to choose what the season is, what the weather is, the date, um, the day and the month. And that's a nice little thing that um, she can do every day. So that's super cute. Thought I'd quickly show you guys that one. And then the other thing is this box. Now I was reached out to on Instagram by Acorns to Oaks. I'm gonna leave the Instagram link here. They've also got a website and they do monthly subscription boxes. This is really, really a real new thing that they've only just started. Um, and the lady, the two ladies actually that run it are so lovely and they home educate their own children so they know all about the education and all that sort of stuff. Um, and they emailed me and asked if they could gift me this and I opened it and it's so amazing. I, was, I said, Messaged him back and asked um, what the monthly subscription is because it's something that I'd really love to do each month and they're kindly giving me another three boxes so I'll show you each month what's inside but highly recommend going and over and having a look. I'm going to show you now, I know it's in there but yeah, lovely ladies and the stuff that's inside is just, it's just lovely so I'll quickly show you that. So this is the box and you get so much in here. All the little bits you'll need. Oh, you get a little positive affirmation and then you get science activity and you get all the bits that you need with it as well so that tissue paper is to do with the science activity you've got something to do with geography some puzzles that's all their information there and then you've got a cooking activity a game i just thought there's everything it covers each subject in one box which is just brilliant brilliant a coloring in sheet and then you color in this it's a shrinky and then you it shows you tells you what to do there the instructions are there pop it in the oven and it shrinks once you've colored it in oh they're really cool but yeah they're good aren't they it's a dolphin as well got that that's part of the battleship game and you've got an under the sea coloring in sheet 
story time. All linked in with the under the sea thing. There and there. And then you've got about emotions. And then you get this that you can fill out. We didn't get this until near the end of November. So gutted I didn't get to fill this out. But it's an two double sided like that. And you get to write what you've done every day and how you feel. And it's just nice to keep, isn't it? And then look back and, and see, actually, I have done a lot this month. And, yeah, draw a picture of it or whatever. That's, that's really, really lovely. So I really want to go and pick up the, Christ the December one because I want to start that and be able to do that every day. So definitely go and check them out anyway. I'll link... Um, oh, I will link their Instagram page here and then you can go through to the website. Lovely, lovely ladies and yeah, an amazing, an amazing product. So I'm going to finish here. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you're having a lovely oh, December. Oh, you <laughs> a lovely December, getting all Christmassy and cosy, that you're all managing to stay safe as COVID is definitely seems to be on the rise again. We've all got it now, like I've said. Um, yeah, I hope you all managed to stay safe and enjoy this festive period. What did you want to say, Mills? Bye. Bye. <laughs> wow. The elves say bye to. Yes, I've showed them the elves already. Yeah, as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you all soon for another home ed one. Um, bye, guys. Bye. Say bye. bye. Oh, hang on. Bye! Bye! Bye. <laughs>